Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Today in the Bible Bistro, we're going to be looking today at verse 4. Verse 4 is right there in the middle of the passage in Psalm 14. And we've seen already how the psalmist is being used as commentary or as a background for the theology in the New Testament. Paul, in Romans chapter 3, uses verses 2 and 3 as a support for his argument uh, about the corruption of man. Now, in verse 4, we continue that idea. Let me read it for you. Is there no knowledge among the workers of iniquity who eat my people like they eat bread, but do not call upon the name of the Lord? So, as I said, we continue this idea, no knowledge among the workers of iniquity. So, again, we are identifying who these people are. They are the fool. They are the morally corrupt. They are the the sons of men. (laughs) They are... All of them turned aside. They have all together become morally corrupt. They are workers of iniquity. So is there no knowledge? And that, that is a rhetorical question, of course, because we know both positively and negatively about this question. We know that, yes, there is knowledge. They could have knowledge. And we know also that, no, they don't have knowledge. So the knowledge is available. It's available, and some people have it but yet the workers of iniquity don't seem to have it. So why is that? Why is it that the Lord's gospel can be preached, his message can be told generation to generation, and yet some men seem just to miss it? They don't understand. They don't understand a thing about their own iniquity, not even enough to repent. Who eat my people like they eat bread? So the workers of iniquity are doing something specific, They are eating the people of God like they eat bread. Of course, this was part of the complaint back there in Psalm 12, wasn't it? You know, the saints are vanishing from among the sons of men. Why is that? Well, the workers of iniquity are eating them up, but they do not call upon the name of the Lord. You see, if they had that knowledge, they would call upon the name of the Lord. They would repent and seek him, and they would would come to him for saving grace and deliverance, but they don't. Why not? Well, because they're morally corrupt. They've done abominable deeds. There's none that does good. It is our fallen nature that keeps us from doing exactly that. It's not until we hear him call. That irresistible grace calls and we respond. That's when we begin looking. It's not before then. It's only when the Father comes to us. He's seeking us. He calls us. And so the effectual calling happens, the irresistible grace, and we, we follow like the little lamb is being led by the shepherd back to the fold. We follow because we hear his voice, but it's not until then. So they don't have knowledge. They don't call upon the name of the Lord. We understand that. I said yesterday we were going to read Psalm 53. Let me hurry and do that real quick. Psalm 53 is exactly like this, except it's not. In place of the word Lord, we have the word God throughout the entirety of Psalm 53. So every place where you see in Psalm 14 the word Lord, you would see God in Psalm 53. Pretty much it's all the same to verse 4. And then in verses 5 and 6, we have verses 5, 6, and 7 reflected, but they're not exactly the same either. They're close, but they're not exact. So Uh, This is a psalm of David, but it's just slightly different. If you want to go and look and read Psalm 53, I would encourage that, but there is not a whole lot of difference here. It's pretty much the same. And isn't it fascinating that we have in Psalm 14 and in Psalm 53 the same thing? That seems to suggest the importance of this idea. It's not just once in the Scripture. It's twice, and then it's taken up again in the New Testament. We have it here twice, and the Lord, usually when he wants to establish something firmly, he says it twice. I think that this is an important thing. That's why I keep mentioning that we have it here in 
in Psalm 53 because it is it's an it's an important thing for us to uh, for us to understand. Okay, I'm over my time. So join me tomorrow. We'll look at verses five and six in Psalm 14 here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.